Welcome back to Power BI Helpline. Did you notice this amazing data labels in this visual? Today we'll create this with by using latest feature called Dynamic Format String with DAX Power. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to all such updates. Let's check it out. I have this line chart, which is showing total sales by date, and the requirement is to format this data level and include margin percentage as well in this format. Now one thing we use to do is, we can add margin percent in our tooltip, and when user will hover over to a particular date, they can see the margin as well. Before I show you the new Power BI capability along with DAX Power, let me show you if this visual will accept a measure formatted in text format or not. So let me first create a new DAX measure, and the name of this measure is Sales and Margin. In this measure, I will just concatenate the formatted total sales and the margin percent as usual we do. And I will try to add this measure in my line chart. So this is the formatted measure. If you want to see how this looks, you can just drag this measure in the visual area, which will create a card visual. For the card, table or matrix visual, we can easily use this measure, but we cannot use this to plot a line chart or bar chart. Let me try to replace my existing total sales measure with this one. As that you can see, this is not accepting my measure because this is a text formatted measure and it cannot be plotted into the line chart. Now I will not only show the new capability in Power BI, but we will apply our DAX power to take it to the next level. All right, select your total sales measure and then drop down the format section. Here you will see a new item called dynamic formatting. And if I will select this option, I will see the default format string and then I can also see my DAX expression of total sales. This is similar to what you see in tabular editor, where we use to define our format string along with the expressions. For example, I can mention my sales and margin text measure, and our line chart can now show these formatted text string. All right, now we know we have this capability with the latest version of Power BI. Now let's apply some DAX tricks to make our line chart more impressive. This measure will compare the total sales on the current day with the previous sales order, so I will create this variable previous sales date to store the existing previous sales order date. To calculate this, I can just calculate max of sales order date, which is less than the current date in the context. I will also use remove filters on my date table. In the return section, first of all I will mention the formatted total sales measure. Then to concatenate the next string use AND, and then I want to add up and down triangle icon. For this, I will validate if the total sales is less than the previous total sales, then use Unicard 9660, which is for down triangle. Sales for previous order date can be calculated as calculate total sales filter all date table, where date is equal to the variable, which is previous sales order date. I can also use remove filter function. Now if this condition is satisfied, means my current date sales is lower than the previous sales, I will use Unicard 9660, which is the code for down triangle. Since I will need to put some space between total sales and the icon, I can concatenate with a blank space, then mention the code for the icon. Then keep one more blank space, and then add the formatted measure for the margin percentage, which will complete the requirement. If this condition is not satisfied, means the total sales on current date is not less than the previous date, I will use the same expression and just change the triangle icon. And this time I will use 9650, which is used for an upside triangle. With that, we are now ready with our first type of formatting. Let's now use this and see how it looks. So this is working, but the first section, which is total sales, is not formatted correctly. And for that, you can add this four quotation marks at the start of the total sales measure. And here we are. This is now showing the correct format with correct icons. You can see, if current date sales is less than previous sales, it is also showing the down triangle icon as well. Here Y axis is not much relevant, you can remove it. Before I add the flag to the highest total sales, I would like to format these texts with green and red color. For this color formatting, I can use my format string measure and change a little bit so that it will assign the red and green color based on the same conditions. So I will copy the expression and create a new measure called color format. Then I will paste the copied expression here. Since I don't need the total sales section, I will remove it from here. 
I also don't need these codes which are adding icons, so I will remove it. Alright, now my new validation will be, if current total sales is less or equal to the previous sales, then use red, otherwise green. This measure, I will use in conditional formatting, which is not a new thing for you. I can just go to the data label section and search for its color, then click on FX. From here you can select, field, from format type, and then search for the newly created measure, which is color format, select that and click OK. Now you can see the nicely formatted data labels on your line chart, which is completely dynamic with all the numbers and the icons. All right, let's now do the final changes in our format string measure, which will also add a flag with the highest sales in this range. You can use any other icon. If you are able to copy an icon, then you can use it inside the DAX expressions. I am adding the new condition, where I will use rank x function to calculate the rank based on total sales. And then if this rank is one, then I can just copy and paste my flag icon inside the quotation mark. I am using all selected function here because I wanted this rank to be dynamic and based on my slicer selections. As that you can see, I can simply paste here a flag icon or any other icon if required. Also keep some blank space in both the sides. Since I also need to add margin percentage, I can add it here same way as we did earlier. For that I will again use my formatted margin percentage measure. This measure is now completed. Click on check mark and see how it looks in our line chart visual. As that you can see, we are now able to see all the formatted numbers, and we can also see a flag icon with our highest sales in this range. If you also want to highlight the lowest sales date with some other icon, you can do a little change in the DAX expression and do the same. I have already posted a video about how to highlight the minimum and maximum both in the line chart. You can check out that video as well. This feature of dynamic formatting is added in April 2023 version of Power BI Desktop. Format string is there in tabular editor, but many times you may not get that tool because that is external tool. Earlier, we have also seen how a simplified version of calculation group in the form of field parameter was added in Power BI, which is very useful. We have posted many videos using field parameter as well, like column level access with field parameter or how to show past and months with any selected measure. If you have not seen, please check that out. So now we got this amazing functionality, and as we presented in this demo, you can also try wrangling with DAX expressions and take the visuals to the next level. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for all such interesting solutions videos in Power BI. Post your feedbacks and suggestions in comment box. And if you need the PBX file used in this example, please send us an email by mentioning the video title and subject lines.